Hello, what's up, Triple Seven? In today's video, I'll be showing you guys a Windows mod to bring back the Windows 7 Explorer on Windows 8. So the Windows Explorer in Windows 8 looks like this. Now, if you came from Windows 7, you're used to Explorer looking like this. Some people like it, some people don't. You can tell some of the major differences are under this PC, we have all this crap here. We have Library is by default actually hidden, so I had to re-enable it in the settings. Other things, the biggest one is the ribbon UI. It takes up a big area right here. Had some options uh, on Windows 7. It was just this. And then, of course, we had the preview area, where if we click on a picture, we could preview it on the side, whereas on Windows 8, we actually can't do that anymore. So some people like the ribbon UI on the Windows 8, and some people don't. But today I'm going to show you guys how to actually bring back the Windows 7 one onto Windows 8. But not in full 100%. You can choose what mods you want to apply and what parts you want to keep or bring back. This is achieved by using a simple program called Old New Explorer. As you can tell, it looks just like the Windows 7 one all the way back to the back buttons. Now currently this is a test version, but I have been using it for a while, and to be honest, it worked perfectly fine. The creator wants to eventually make a installer version, but as of right now, it's just a simple run file. So you can read about it here. The nice thing about it though, is that you can undo what you did, and you can uninstall it in about two seconds, and it's really easy to use, and I'll show you guys how to use it right now. So if you're interested in doing this, go to the link below to this website right here, and you can go ahead to the download section and download it. It comes in a RAR file, and after you extract it, you'll get this folder right here, and then there you'll get these four files. What you want to do is just open up the .exe file, which is the old new Explorer CFG, and there you go. Now, it may ask you for administrative access, so click yes if it does, and it may ask you twice. Um, to double check that, look at your taskbar. You may have something blinking. Click that and click yes. Make sure it has full admin rights. So what you want to do is choose everything that you want. My suggestion, if you want the full Windows 7 look, then check them all off. Um, that's the full Windows 7 look. If you want certain parts and certain others, then you choose the ones you want. But if you want the full Windows 7 look, you have them all checked off, and then click Install. Click Yes, this should hit OK. And you can see here, I have now I have one that's blinking, meaning I have to say yes to it still. So click that one, and click Yes. And once it hit OK, Everything should be good to go, and it should give you the option to uninstall it. But what you want to do is just exit out of it, exit out of all the ones you have currently open, and then just reopen it. You then see that it looks back just like the Windows 7 one now. So you guys can see under this PC, we no longer have the extensive documents, pictures, etc. Libraries has been brought back to life, and they actually do work. And as well as, if we go to pictures, for example, uh, we have the options right here, like burn to disk, but probably my favorite one is the preview area, so we can click on a object and preview it. Now, you can choose the different ones you like. So like I said, though, so you can say, uh, you can uncheck the ones you don't want. So if you uncheck this one, for example, you guys can see that the ribbon UI is back. So you can choose the mods that you want to apply and it's really simple to use of course to uninstall it's extremely simple as well click uninstall you'll have to go through and say yes to everything again and what you'll have to do now is actually restart explorer so if you actually open it up again it still won't have applied everything so the easiest way to do that is simply log off and log back on so anyway guys that's it for the video i certainly hope you enjoy this mod I definitely do myself. I personally will be using it for a long time. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in my next video. You can follow me on Twitter for instant and easier ways to contact me, Facebook if you use Facebook, and Google Plus if you use Google Plus. Subscribe for more videos, and besides that, guys, have a great day. This is the Hacker 0 7 and I'm signing off.